How's it going everyone? Welcome to another video on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Today we're talking about iPhone which is charging slower past 80%. That's like the mark which you have probably noticed that when you fire up your iPhone from 0 to 10, from 10 to 20 to 50, it's going pretty quick, but it's getting slower over time. So what's really behind it? Now, uh, there are some things which you should know about. First of all, if you go ahead and open up the settings, you need to make sure that you go to the battery section. And there is one option which is going to show up to you when you tap on battery health and charging. So when you go in here, you can check out the maximum capacity, which is like a different story. Of course, below 80%, you should consider replacing that in case that's the problem. But you can see optimized battery charging. When this option is enabled, when this is turned on, your iPhone will by default slow down its charging past 80%. And so you can see, it literally tells you that to reduce battery aging, iPhone learns from your daily charging routine and your habits, so it can wait to finish charging past 80% until you need to use it. So you can see 80% is the number right there. And to put it simply, to make sure that you understand it, basically, your iPhone learns, let's say that you wake up every, every day at 6 a.m. Your iPhone learns that. So you put your iPhone on the charge at 10 p.m. when you go to bed. Now, it could theoretically charge it up to 100% at like, let's say, 3 a.m. But iPhone, instead of charging your uh, device, charging the battery to 100% at 3 a.m. and keeping it at 100% until you wake up at 6 a.m., instead what it does is that when it reaches 80%, it's going to split the remaining part until you wake up at 6 a.m. So let's say it hits 80% at 2.30 in the morning. It's 80%. It's going to wait and slowly charge it up until 6 a.m. Until then, when you wake up at 6 a.m., you're going to be with the 100% of battery. You don't care about it. It's good at the end of the cost for the customers. And also, it's better for the battery instead of being full since 3 a.m. to 6. Instead, it's at 80% at like 2.30. I'm just making this stuff up. I don't know exactly about the numbers, but you just need to understand the point. By the way, guys, if you want to know everything about your iPhone apps, you have to click the link down below in the description. It's a 100% free education platform where I publish like video editing courses. There is going to be the all apps explained course, which is coming up. It's going to explain every single app on your iPhone. It's going to be really cool. So go ahead and check out at that link it's free to access so yeah go ahead and do that right now well let's say that you hit 80 percent at 230 it's gonna spread out at the charging time until 6 a.m because it knows from the past from your data from your habits that you wake up at that time so until then it has time to spread out the battery charge and that's why it charges it slower past 80 percent in case you want to disable it, of course, just go to the settings and turn off optimized battery charging. But we'll, of course, miss out on that, that preserving battery feature. And also, it doesn't want you to do that. So it gives you, like, options to turn it off until tomorrow. To, like, let's say that tomorrow you want to wake up at any time you want and make sure that it charges it as fast as possible. But then you just stay with the optimized way of charging so i'm gonna hit cancel i want to keep it that way and yeah that's basically the reason why your iphone charges slower past 80 percent and i'm gonna wrap up this video right now if you found it informative make sure to leave a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe down below so you never miss future videos and tutorials like this one thanks a lot for watching see you guys later